Good morning, Calvary Lutheran Church and School. We're glad that wherever you are, you are able to be uh, joining us here today for a couple of minutes of praise and worship. Uh, today we have Mr. Rensner, our principal, who is going to be bringing us the message, and we're going to be finding out that Mr. Rensner is, is a man of many hats. So before we, uh, we sing our first song, before we get into that message, please join me in a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you that wherever we are today, we are able to come here together to join our voices in worship. Lord, we thank you that each week you give us this place to come together and to know you. We, pr we pray that you would bless our time together and that it would be one in which our faith is strengthened. All of this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, we'll now continue on with our first song. time to worship come now is a time to give your heart come just as you are to worship come just as you are before your God Every tongue will confess you are God One day every knee will bow Still the greatest treasure remains For those who gladly choose you now Come, now is the time to Good morning. Welcome to chapel on this Thursday, April the 23rd. We make our beginning in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Our Bible reading for our chapel service today, the first one comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse 33. This is Jesus speaking to his disciples before he went to the cross on Good Friday. Jesus said, I have said these things to you that you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And our second reading comes from Revelation chapter 1 verse 8. Again, Jesus is speaking. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. So far our readings. Question for you as we start our chapel today. What have you missed since March? Since the middle of March, what have you missed? 
I'm sure that we've all missed many, many things. I thought I'd share some of the things that I've missed since the middle of March. First off, the gold green grass of Wrigley Field, the Chicago Cubs opening day, the ivy covered walls, the crack of the bat, the 2016 Chicago Cubs beginning a new season in hopes of another World Series championship run. Ah, the sweet baseball in summertime. Something I've missed greatly is the delay of the Major League Baseball season. Something else that I've missed greatly was the NCAA tournament. The completion of the brackets, the competition of win one or go home, the 64 teams vying for the national championship, the excitement of Indianapolis as we were to host one of the stages to the tournament, all missed and gone. Something else that I've missed is the suspension of the NBA season. How would have the Pacers fared in the playoffs? Would the Bulls even have made the playoffs? Would they be able to challenge the Milwaukee Bucks in the East? Who would have come out in the West? New teams vying for the championship, all suspended. And just what if, what if the NFL season gets delayed due to the pandemic? What would that be like this fall not to have football? But you know, the thing that I've missed the most, the very, very most, is you. I've missed you. I've missed your laughter. I've missed you filling the halls. I've missed the sound of kickball outside. I've missed viewing you in the classrooms with assignments, with learning, and the joy that school brings. And within that, the most I've missed is sharing God's love with you in chapel, over our morning devotions, and all the other components of our day together. That has been dearly missed. I long for the day when I see the Shelby Street school warning signs flashing each morning and afternoon, alerting people that school is in session here on site. I've missed the opportunities to help you grow, to help you learn, to partner with the teachers through this process and our pastors as we share God's love with you as well each and every day. All these things have been missed greatly by many, many people. And you as well have missed those things. I've missed our family time groupings. I've missed sharing the last couple weeks here and months with our eighth graders as they graduate. I've missed the idea that we were able to not be able to share the risen Lord through Easter together. All these things have been greatly missed. But as we look to our Bible readings for today, we know that Jesus is with us each and every day, that he is always present in our lives. He is ever near, not far away, no matter our circumstances. As I record this chapel service, the sanctuary is empty but your hearts have filled it with God's love, peace, and grace. We rejoice each day in that knowledge, even though we are separated. Imagine what the disciples went through that Good Friday and the hardship and the obstacles and the challenges that they faced as Jesus hung on the cross, as their world was flipped upside down. For three years, they spent each and every day with Jesus rejoicing in the fact that they had Jesus there with them. And all of a sudden, life changed. Life changed as Jesus died on the cross and as he was buried. And the fear that they felt as they huddled in the upper room. But the first thing Jesus said to them on that Easter evening was, Fear not, have peace. Jesus breathed on them and showed to them that he was living, that he was there with them always and that he would be with them. That verse that I read to you from Revelation, if you had a red print Bible, those words would be in red. The red print shows and illustrates what Jesus spoke directly to us. We thank God for his eternal gift to us, as Jesus tells us that he was, he is, and he will come again to be with us 
as our Alpha and Omega. Jesus suffered the shame, the cruelty, and the gore on Calvary's cross for each one of us, yet he tells us that he will come again, that he goes to prepare a place for us, and that place is eternal. We celebrate his goodness, for we have his peace and promise, no matter what this world brings, no matter what troubles. Christ is risen, he is risen indeed. Alleluia. And now we'll pray the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be your name in the land that is plentiful where streams of abundance flow. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name when I'm found in the desert place. Though I walk through the wilderness, blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be your name when the sun shining. All as it should be, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name on the road marked with suffering. Though there's pain in the offering, blessed be your name. Every blessing. Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glorious name. You give and take away, you give and take away. Good morning, Calvary. Today is Thursday, April the 23rd. We make our beginning in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. As you can see, we have a guest announcer sharer today. 
Bailey is with us this morning to give you a Bailey update. Her training continues to go well as our comfort and therapy dog. She is now five months old. Some of you would hardly recognize her as she has grown tremendously over the past month and a half. We have many birthdays to celebrate as again we go through this month of April. Mason in 8th grade celebrates his birthday on Friday the 24th. Happy birthday to Mason. Lachlan in 2nd grade celebrates his birthday on Monday the 27th. Happy birthday to Lachlan. Haley in our preschool 3-4 session celebrates her birthday on Tuesday the 28th. Isaac in 8th grade will celebrate his birthday on Wednesday the 29th of April. Kyle in 6th grade celebrates his birthday on the 30th of April next Thursday along with Arden in our kindergarten on April 30th and Waylon in our preschool 4-5 on April 30th. Happy birthday to all of our celebrants. Have you been working on your bullying prevention poster? Poster deadline is Friday, May the 8th. So please make sure you bring your poster to the gym and put them back on the table where the poster board is. Midterm is this week as well in the fourth quarter. Midterm reports will be sent via RenWeb. So we celebrate the fact that school continues with our academics and our teaching and we record that as well. Our thought for the day is strength doesn't come from what we can do. It comes from overcoming the things you thought you couldn't. Have a great day and approaching weekend.